Hey guys, welcome to another Electronics and More video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make these custom noise reduction earplugs. If you had to have these custom made, it would cost well over $100. These earplugs you see here cost me only around $2 worth of materials to make. The case you see here was given to me by a friend that had hearing aids kept inside the case. Now the reason why I made these is because I do work with a lot of power tools and I also like to go shooting. So I wanted to have a quality pair of earplugs to protect my hearing. Let me show you what these look like up close. Now you can see it's very flexible. It's made out of a semi-soft silicone. That's this one here too. That's the back of it. And you can see I also have this piece of monofilament inside. So once you push this into the ear canal all the way in, when you want to remove them, you just grab the monofilament and pull it out. Now the easy way to tell which is the right and which is the left, you look at the flat side of the mold, which is right there. And you can see this is the flat side. And your ear canal curves inward toward the back of your head. So this one right here would go inside my right ear. And this one here with the flat bottom, you put it down, curves inward towards me. That would be going to the back of my head. So this would go in the left ear. Let me show you how easy these are to make. I'm going to show you one way to do it. There is more than one way to make these. The first thing you're going to require is something called polymorph. Polymorph is really cool stuff. Let me open up and show you. You see it's all these little pellets. They're very hard plastic pellets and they feel just like nylon. It's non-toxic, it's a polyester bead and they are biodegradable and it does resemble nylon. It is reusable. It's designed to melt in hot water around 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. What's going to happen? It's going to go from the color you see here to a clear translucent cast. When it becomes translucent, that's when you're going to be able to mold it in your hand into a shape that you desire. This material can be very useful for prototyping. It's very strong, like nylon. And if you desired, you can also add color. There's colorant that can be added to this. When it melts, you can work it in and have this any color that you choose. To get started, I'm going to take two teaspoons, which is around 10 ml on here of the polymorph. I'm going to take some hot water from the microwave oven and I'm going to pour it into those beads. Once the water is poured in, you're going to see them begin to turn translucent and then I'll be able to dump the water out and mold the beads by hand into one mass. Here we go. Okay. Move this to the side. You can see it's already turning clear. Put it right there. While the beads are softening up, I'm going to take one of these pads. It's a little piece of cotton on the end. It's a very fine thread. You can make these if you go to the store. You could purchase those makeup removal pads, cut it into a very tiny circle, and take a piece of thread and tie a knot in the corner like you see here. This is going to be pushed all the way into my ear canal and to do that I'm going to gently push it into place using a q-tip or I can use a specialized tool like you see right here. This will push it in. You notice the curve is going this way to the back of your skull. Gently push that pad all the way in until it's right against your eardrum. Now this is something that I'm showing you that the average person should not be doing because there's always a risk that you can injure yourself. So the reason why I'm showing you this is so you know how I make my earplugs, not necessarily for you to make your own. Once this is all the way inside the ear canal, the little string will be hanging out of the ear. You'll then have that nice cushioned area to protect the tympanic membrane. All right, as you can now see, it's clear. We're 95% clear. I'm going to take the water and dump it into the cup here. Now even though the water is very hot, 
I noticed that this material doesn't seem to hold the heat. So it's not like I can hold it against my skin and burn. It doesn't do that. But as you can see, it molds very, very nicely. So what I want to do is get a good shape on it like you see right here. And once I get this shape, I'm going to insert that into my ear canal and then I'm going to work this material further and further and further into my ear canal until I feel the ends start to press against the cotton, against the tympanic membrane. When that happens, it's going to look exactly like you see in this image right here. Once it's fully into the ear canal, I'm going to hold my finger over the end, keeping it pressed in position, and wait a few minutes. When the polymorph material is removed, you're going to end up with something that looks exactly like this. Hard plastic. And this is going to be used for the next step. Now before the next step, I just wanted to mention that when I make the two of these, it usually requires a little more than 10, maybe around 12 ml, and if I cut that mass in half, it's enough to make both. Now the next step is to take these hard plastic pieces and make a mold of them using dental alginate like you see right here. And I use this for making my dental retainers and whitening trays. Now if you have not seen my other video, you're definitely going to want to check that out. You can click over here with the circle with the eye and you'll see the drop down menu showing how I make my dental retainers. Now when I make the dental retainers, this material is mixed up so it's very smooth and thick. In this case, I'm going to be mixing it up so it's very smooth and thin. So let me do that. Let me take one of that, two. Now this right here is regular set. They have fast set, they have slow set, I prefer the regular set. And the ratio is usually three parts powder to two parts water. So I'm going to add the water right now. When this is mixed, you have to work fairly quickly. This is color changing, it starts off as pink. Normally I would load this into my dental retainer tray when it's white, and then I would hold it there for about three, four minutes and remove it. So I'm going to mix this up, pour it into the small container, and then I'm going to take this one right here and push it all the way down. Alright, let me mix it up good. Okay, let me get this into the cup. Okay, should be no air bubbles introduced. And I'm going to push that all the way down, wiggle it on the way in. Like that, all right? I'm going to let this sit for around four or five minutes and then I'm going to remove the polyform material. Okay, it's had sufficient time to set up. Now I'm going to grab right here and very carefully just wiggle it out. So you got the perfect mold in there now. All the way down to the bottom might be hard to see right down there but I'm going to let it sit just a few more minutes to ensure it's fully dry all the way in. Then I'm going to be mixing up a batch of liquid silicone to pour inside this mold. Before I pour the liquid silicone, you're going to have to take a small piece of monofilament fishing line, tie a bulky knot in one end, because that's going to be placed inside this mold with the silicone. The liquid silicone I'll be using is this one right here. It says Amazing Mold Rubber, High Strength Liquid Mold Making Rubber. And I paid around $20 for this, including shipping online. With the kit, you get this big container of liquid silicone and you get the activator right here. Once these two are mixed together thoroughly, I'm going to be pouring it into that mold. All right, this is what the silicone looks like before this is added to it to make it start to set. See, it's very thin the way it flows around. 
I'm going to take one scoop of this Let me let that drip off. And you can see how it flows out. I'm going to want to flow the same exact way into that mold over there to ensure that there's no trapped air pockets. Let me wipe off all the excess here. Okay. And let me dump it into here now. Let me put the cover on this and move it out of the way. Now I already measured on the dropper, you can see it right there with the magic marker, that from the tip to that line is one-tenth the amount of what's in here. So let me do this. Right there. Let me mix it up really good now. Now it's got that pink cast, which isn't bad because it will go with your skin a little better being pink. Mix it up really, really good. If you don't mix it good, you're going to end up with soft spots. So make sure it's mixed well. Make sure the sides don't have any of the material that wasn't mixed. Now this lasts around 20 minutes before it starts to really set. So now what I'm going to do is very carefully pour it into the very low spot at the bottom. Let it run in. So let me go like this. Get a little stream going in. Go easy. It's going to flow down. And I can assist it by pushing down easy all the way to the bottom without introducing air. So you want to push the material down and the air will rise up. Alright, let's pull that out. And add more. That's good for now. So now I'm going to go like this, bang it. Go all the way down carefully to ensure the liquid flows into every part of that mold. Now I'm slowly going to pull out. Okay, now I'm going to bang it. Ensure there's no air bubbles in the bottom. See a little bubble come up right there. You could also take a palm sander hold it upside down without sandpaper and place this on top and the vibration will make the bubbles rise to the surface. Let me pop that little bubble right there. Good. And in a minute I'm going to be inserting the monofilament with the knot. Alright, let's push it down into it. And I could actually work it all the way down where the ear canal goes against the tympanic membrane just to make sure, right there it's way down, make sure that that silicone is definitely coating that entire area. If there's a void then the earplug is not going to be good. Now I'm just going to pull it up a hair. All right. Tap it a little bit. Get rid of any air bubbles there. After around two hours, I'll be able to pull this entire alginate mold off of the silicone mold, and I'm going to end up with exactly what you see right here. 
It's very simple and it works extremely well. These are very, very comfortable too when they're in your ear. Because they are fairly soft, when it's all the way in and you chew, you don't feel this end really inside your ear that much. If you were to use this one right here, it's harder and it would work, but you would feel this hard end inside your ear as you're chewing. Usually I'll support the monofilament with something like this to keep it from falling all the way over. It keeps it in the center. It's also very important when you make these that you ensure that you go deep enough with the polyform. You want to get around this first curve and a little bit around the second curve. Doing that will ensure the earplug will work extremely well and not fall out of your ear. After you remove the earplug from the alginate, if you notice it's not a tight fit in your ear, you can always mix up more silicone. Take this and clean it with rubbing alcohol first. Dip it into the silicone. Let it fully drip off. Turn it upside down. Let it flow again downward. And then keep it moving in your hand for a few minutes. This way the silicone flows around everywhere and doesn't accumulate in one spot. And then once that's done, you'll have a much tighter fit in your ear canal. Okay, this is what it looks like once it's all set up. Slide this right out of here. It's like a ball of rubber, the alginate. And I could just make a little cut right through here. And crank it right open. And there is my beautiful earplug. All right. Once I remove this from the mold, I then allow it to sit for 24 hours before using it. This is what it looks like in my ear canal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.